You ever driving your GM vehicle down the road and you press the accelerator to accelerate and all of a sudden the dreaded reduced engine power light comes on. You hook up your scan tool, you look, you got a P2138. Uh, well, this particular vehicle, I am going through the diagnostic procedure and how I diagnosed it and what the final results were. Okay, so this is a normal throttle activator system. We got 0.451 on APP2 and we got 0.961 on APP1. When I press this to wide open throttle, you'll see that APP1 goes to 4.255 volts and APP1 goes to 2.098 volts. This is kind of the normal voltage that you should expect to find when you're diagnosing the accelerator. So, Okay, so we got a live failure disagree, which is good. I'm gonna press the accelerator. Slowly press it. Okay, so you'll notice that I, on the scan tool here, I circled in red APP1, and I circled in green APP2. Well, if you notice, the APP2 is going up to the normal voltage range, and APP1 is not. So, there's a couple different things that could cause this. One would be resistance in the wires and the connectors, um, and that would have to be the APP1 signal wire could have high resistance or the APP1 um, 5 volt reference could have low voltage. Those would be two of the possibilities. And the third possibility would be an internal problem in ECM where the ECM cannot read the proper voltage. Okay, so what I'm gonna do next here is I'm gonna run two tests. One, I'm gonna disconnect the ground for APP1. And if you disconnect the ground for APP1, it should go to five volts and it should automatically do that. Then the next test I'm gonna do is I'm going to short five volt reference to the APP1 signal. It should also go to five volts. Now you'll notice when I'm doing that test, I also have the multimeter hooked up. So we know that the multimeter is reading uh, the full five volts. It's reading 4.99 in the video, which is pretty much five. Um, it's right on the money. While on the scan tool, you can see it doesn't match. Okay, accelerator 1, point 0.94, accelerator 1, ground, we're going to unhook the ground, only goes to 4.31, computer, now I'm going to short 5 volts to APP1, APP1 reads 5 volts, but 4.47 here. Okay, so the overall result on this particular vehicle, I had actually checked and I cleaned up the ground down there, G111, just as a backup. When you saw when I was doing the test, I was using jumper wires. I wasn't using the connectors from the car. That way I know that the connectors on the car are not actually causing high resistance and causing the problem. And in the end, the final result of this particular vehicle is that APP1 cannot read full throttle and the ECM itself is bad. Okay, just to give you a little rundown on this system, here you can see these purple wire, pin 53, that's the ground for APP2. This blue wire here, light blue wire, pin 34, that is the signal for APP2. Pin 33, right here, this is the five volt uh, for APP2. Now, this brown wire here, uh, pin 30, this is APP1 ground, and this here uh, dark blue wire, this is the signal for APP1, and this black, white and black wire, this is the 5 volts for APP1. I hope that helps.